Show my love. <laughs> You're a dead man. Yeah? We'll get in and drive. Otherwise, I'm going to take you along with me. yourself, George. Yeah. Yeah? Well, me and my brother used to eat people like you at breakfast. And do you know why? Because we were prepared to go a little bit further, do you know what I mean? Jack's gonna cut you in half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. But the thing is, I've got a bottle to walk in there. The question is, have you got a bottle to stop me? Hey? Right. And be a good boy and leap away. <laughs> I said not to come back here. I'm sorry, Jack. Phil? What's going on? He was there waiting for me. You better have a very good reason for coming in my office with that in your hand. What is? It's plastic. I bought it for my little and short nose and little. You out now! I'll see you later. This better be good. A go up. I lied. What? We had a thing a few months ago. It finished, but I couldn't let this happen. Did you know she was a copper? No. And not until you told me. But you had a thing? Yeah. It didn't last long. It was something and nothing. Must have been something. George is a big lad. I don't want her around. She's had a nose in my business. Yeah, you said it yourself. She ain't got anything, has she? Now you let her walk away, end the problem. For who? Well, at least you know they're looking at you. you. You can be careful, can't you? Give me one good reason why I don't shoot you where you stand. Is it any real gun? <laughs> Always did have too much bottle for your own good. Listen, Jack, I know this is a problem and that's why I'm here, but... Well, if we're having it, now's as good a time as any. She you know it was me who sent him? No. So what do you think? He was the tooth fairy? I told her that he was a burglar, but I knew him. She never saw his face, and I... I asked her to give him a break. And? I brought him back here, didn't I? Look, the way I see it is, she's gone. Nothing's come of it. End off. So where do we stand, Jack? You know how it works, Phil. It's all a question of reputation. People heard about this. Heard you got away with it. They think I'm not the man I was. Maybe. What do you think, Phil? Think I've gone soft? You'd love it, wouldn't you? So what do you think, son? Shall we have it? Time was I asked someone that. They'd wet themselves. How do you know I haven't? Hmm. Look, George is the only one that knows about this. It shouldn't be too difficult to, to get him to keep his mouth shut. And if I don't, if I send someone to do the job properly, we got a problem. You take me on. I don't want to. But you would. Five to you. Yeah. And how do you reckon that would pan out? Then I'd have that great lump of a brother coming after me, I suppose. Guaranteed. The girl. You guarantee no comebacks. 
Yeah. If I let this go, Mrs. Plod walks away. So she's happy. You get to be a hero. What do I get out of this? What do you want? What you got? Money? Yeah. What then? You. What? One day I ask you to do me a favour. You do it. No questions. What sort of favour? Well, it's hardly likely to be taking my dog for a walk, Phil, is it? I'd rather do the money. Not interested. I do you this favour, you do me one back. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. I'll be in touch. We're straight. We're straight. They always said you had more ball than your brother. Didn't believe him till now. Neither did I. It's a mate of mine. He said he knows when my kids go to school. If you don't pay up, he's going to be waiting outside Relax, the front. Tony, gate. okay? Just chill a bit. I'll get you some breakfast. What happened to your friend? Oh, he walked into a lamppost. Can I have the full English for him and uh, get us a cup of tea, please, Pat? Mm. Who found it? The boss, of course. Go around there. You want the money, don't you? Yeah, but that's so the boss ain't gonna give it me unless I go around and ask for it. He'll kill you. Never. Whose woman are yours, Daddy? Look, do you want me to come with you? The way the boss feels about you, do you really think that's such a good idea? No, I'll let you know how I get on. I don't know what I'd do without you, man. You're a good friend, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. I'll make this up to you. I promise. Look, I haven't got the money yet, have I? But why don't you go home? I'll give you a call. Go on. Excuse me. Dennis? Who is he? Oh, it's Tony. I know his name, but who is he? We were in the same home together. How would you get the bruises? An overexcited loan shark. Look, I've got to pop out for a couple of hours. I've got a bit of business to sort. What? It's to do with Tony. The jet? Well, I don't want to go back inside, do I? That's not an answer, Dennis. Someone owes him some money, I said I'd help him get it back. Yes, it's legit. So what time are you back? About most time. Would you fancy meeting the Vic for an emerald? Chucking a vodka, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> Done. Why don't I just tell him you called? I'll wait. Ah, how is it now? Painful. Aspirin? Please. Dennis. It's been a long time. How are you doing? Yeah, okay. Ever had a root filling? No. Don't. Come on in. It's good to see you again. I spoke to Andy last week. He said, yeah. Something about some money. 20 grand. A significant amount. Peanuts to you. Injections wearing off. You owe it to me and Tony. That little worm. When we went down for doing that bloke, we never mentioned your name. Neither of us did. So? You want me to buy your silence? Loyalty comes with a price tag these days. Of course you kept quiet, Dennis. It's the nature of the job. We're friends. We stick together. 
Money doesn't come into it. Twenty grand. <sighs> okay. I've got some jobs. Going down, you'll make your money. I'll have you back in the family. Everyone's happy. No. Don't be hasty. I've moved on, Jack. Fair enough. I've made the offer. You've turned me down. You said you'd always look after us. I look after all my boys. I need that money. You were never like this before. I was never inside before. I don't think you've been listening. It's you that ain't been listening. Now, I've kept this zipped so far. Twenty grand keeps it zipped. Starting to think you won't come in. Got caught in traffic. There you go. This don't feel like 20 grand. Yeah, try dividing it by 10. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Consider yourself lucky you're even getting that. Oh, you won't ever go here. Come on, let's take a walk. I ain't standing for this. Now listen to me. Stop pushing your luck. I told Dalton what I wanted and what I'd do if I didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, that whole threat scenario. Not a good idea. Where is he? In his office? He's a busy man. I wouldn't go disturbing him. Thanks for your advice. You can stick it in the same place as this. And that's your final word, is it? My final word? I ain't even started yet. I'm sorry you feel like that, Dennis. Now you're gonna have to learn the hard way. See you back in the car. expect me to accept this? Dennis, what a pleasant surprise. I took the fall for you. No, 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 you got caught, which is something very different. I don't reward people for making mistakes. You wouldn't like prison. No big desk to sit behind, no tailored suit. Your point. My point, Jack! Is what price you put on your freedom, because two grand buys you nothing! Now you listen, you go to the police. It'll be the last thing you do. I've got nothing to lose. You? Well. I want 20 grand. Jack. Mm. Sorry, I don't know how he managed to get away from us. You want to send a couple of the lads after him? Silly, Dennis. You gonna tell me what happened? No. Dennis. It's okay. Sure it is. I can handle this. You know, Dad was like this sometimes. Like what? There was something going on he wouldn't talk about. I was saying he knew what he was doing. Which was true until he... Well, mostly it was true. Yeah. What's you done? Thanks. You don't have to worry about me. You know, if things have been different, I think Dad would have really enjoyed getting to know you. Where is it? I haven't got it. What do you mean you haven't got it? Dalton threw me two grand last night. I threw it back. You did what? I told him to pay me the 20 he owes us. Or what? I go to the cops and hang him out to dry. You threatened him? You can't do that. He owes us 20. That was the deal. Dennis, when Jack Dalton makes you an offer, that's it. You don't bargain with him. <sighs> Mate, I'm sorry. Don't be. What have I got you into? I don't know. We just have to wait and see. 